Hello guys, this is Mike from the programming.org. Today I'm going to talk to you about command line arguments. They are not the prettiest thing on a typical command line terminal, command prompt in uh, Windows, and I think it's called a terminal in, on an Apple. I don't use Apple, so I don't really know how to use it, but I know how to run command line arguments on Eclipse because I uh, recently cleaned my computer out and set the new pads and stuff for Java and for some weird reason it's saying that the my Java compiler and Java machine doesn't uh, it's an older version something like that but anyways if I was to run a program it's not going to work but I'm going to show you the syntax of how to run a program on the command line let's just say it's a hello world dot java file so you say you go to where the location is and you say java c which is java compiler and you give the class name if you have a bunch of classes together put where the main method is and put dot java afterwards and you hit enter and you wait until it does that and now what you can do is just say java which will run the class that it created so you can say hello just fill in a couple letters and hit the tab button it'll auto complete and if there's multiple things you can there's multiple things right here so go through it until you find whatever you had compiled dot class and you're going to delete dot class and say hello world and for a command line argument what you do is a space if you're using command line arguments and say that you need to put in the name like this well you can put in as many arguments as it takes in so if you did um, you would just keep doing that space and putting things in there and this won't run so I'm not going to use it but let me set up a class in here so you can visually see what I mean we're just going to say hello and we'll put in the main method now I'll I'll type that out so I can talk through it. So this is going to be a hello class, and what I'm going to say is I'm going to take in a command line argument of one name, and it's going to print out to the screen, hello, that name. And as you remember, to set up a main method, if you do public static void main, and in the parameters, it takes in a string of arrays called args and these are the command line arguments so what we can do um, you won't get to arrays just yet you can skip ahead and watch that tutorial if you want but to to say the first array let's assign the first um, argument which I'm only going to pass in one argument so it will be the only one but we're going to declare that a string and call it name and to say the first argument in the array, we're going to say args and then put brackets. That's saying it's an array right here. And you want to put the element index. So it's zero because in computer language, you don't start with one. You go from zero, one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. So start at zero. That's the first one. And then we're going to down here, we're going to sys out and we're just going to say hello um, name so I could also save this I could save this and go to where this is in my directory and still compile it and put in the um, command line argument which let's just pretend I had Java hello right here and I put Mike what should happen is Mike gets passed into these array of arguments and since there's only one array or one uh, string argument it's automatically arg0 and we we uh, call that name we declared it name and it should print to the screen hello and then the name well, in Eclipse, we can do that. It's a little more complicated, but it's it's prettier. I hate messing with the command prompt. Let's go to Run Configurations. And, okay, I already have it on here, but let's say that you weren't where you need to be. What you do is you go to the project you need, 
in this case it was command line arguments I created and then you want to go to the main class that you're trying to run in this case it was hello so now go over to arguments I already have Mike in there but let's give it a different name um, put in Judy and let's apply that and now run it and now down here it says hello Judy so that's how you run a command line argument in Eclipse uh, so that's a lot easier and cleaner than running it on the command prompt even though I highly recommend that you do learn how to use the command prompt um, that comes important in the academic world uh, any world actually because you're not always going to have Eclipse that makes life easy for you but please subscribe and join me on the next tutorial. Thank you.